and we are literally being towed along by another aeroplane. And it generally works. It works better than it should. All right, everybody. We are on approach to a generic island airport. Uh... Uh, okay, everybody, we are in a little bit of trouble now. This is not the most normal generic island airport approach, apparently. All right, we, we can make it, though. We can make it, though. Okay, here we go. We have perfect gliding speed. Shh, it's good. Put that gear down. Yes, we've got enough hydraulics to get that landing gear down. That's fine. Let's start putting those flaps out. Good, good, good. Now down stall. Oh, that was quite a hard landing there, everybody. What an emergency landing this is. Let's go ahead and stop as quickly as we can. All right, there we go. Everything is fine. Yes, everything is okay. The passengers can be taken care of. But now, we're dealt with quite a difficult issue that our plane is now kind of stuck on this small island in the Mediterranean Sea at a small airport that doesn't really do a lot of aircraft maintenance. Yes, everybody, quite a common issue. We need two engines to get this plane running again. Maybe you could strap it onto a 747 so that it flies around with five engines. That's something that's been done before. Hmm, what else can we do to bring this airplane to the next, um, maintenance center? Perhaps I could use the car method. Everybody, yes, towing. Everybody, I have done the very much same. Can you see this towing, uh, hook right here on the nose of the 737? Yes, everybody, that way we're perhaps able to get an another airliner to carry us, to tow us along. We can nicely configure that in the X-Plane here. We can select a glider start. Yeah, this is from the gliders added into X-Plane. Um, not really made for airliners, but we're going to utilize it anyway. I mean, we can use a winch launch, which is like the very typical glider method, but let's go ahead and choose a tow plane. And perhaps, well, we have lots to choose from. We have all to choose from. Perhaps let's try another 737. You know, I've kind of lost all hopes in this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we have a texture saying, you will now be total off by another aircraft. Your goal is to hold formation behind the tow plane, not pulling to either side. Drop the cable when you're ready to glide on your own. Well, we won't. We have to have this American Air Airlines plane carry us to the next airport. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Release brake to take off. Perfect. I've just done that. Okay, and you can see the forward 737 now moving. And we are being towed! Yes! <laughs> this is great! Shut up, airplane. Oh, get rid of the fire. Mm -hmm. Extinguish the flame. Good procedure. While wow, everybody, we are still being towed. You can see the little towing rope here. Yes, of course, this 737 that's carrying us also has a port. Oh, you know what? Performance might be a bit of an issue, though, right? Come on. Oh, yeah. That 737 is able to take off. We should be able to take off as well. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay! Uh, I don't know if this, <laughs> if this is physics. <laughs> we're literally hanging by. Oh! <laughs> we're hanging, we were hanging by a threat. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I, I really don't know what, what went wrong there. Um. <laughs> Okay, we, we shall try again. All right, come on. Release brakes now. There you go. That seems like it should work. So what I forgot to do definitely was put out flaps. Um, and so we weren't able to take off when the 737 was taking off. Also, we're so close to this airplane. I don't know how wake turbulence and, you know, especially the engines blowing against us is simulated here in this simulator. I'm pretty sure it's done quite well, which is why we have very little lift power. Look at this. This airplane is already rotating at 120 knots while we are still sitting like a stone. Come on, I really would like to not disappoint our friend here. Come on. Please, give me some ability to fly, you idiot. Yes! Okay, good, good, good. No, not good. Why? I mean, we're fast. Okay, uh, now we're hanging once again by a thread. No! You know what? We, perhaps we need a little bit more of a powerful airplane. We've now killed... <laughs> okay, we have to try a bigger one. Let's try an A330. I mean, there's one in the flight simulator. All right! Okay, what went wrong here? All right, release brakes and take off. Everybody, Lufthansa has to help us out quite a bit now. Here's the rope. We're following very close, very much behind him. All right, good, good, good. Now, the noise that you can hear in the cockpit is all from the AI plane, the A330, right? That's quite crazy. There you go. Okay, it's already taking off. Hey, these are these AI planes are quite diligent on taking off, you know, aren't they? All right. That whole that works a whole lot better. Yes! Everybody, we are airborne! Ha! <laughs> we can put the landing gear up as well, and we are literally being towed along 
by another aeroplane. And it generally works. It works better than it should. I'm, I'm quite amazed. All right, we've collided now. Perhaps the rope is a little short. But this generally works, and I'm very much surprised because we're able to gain speed. We're able to climb. Oh, 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 so sorry. You really don't want to let go of the controls. If you do that, then it might end in quite... Quite an interesting situation right there. I mean, we're just, okay. Maybe you can doubt the physics of this flight simulator. And oh no, we've crashed. We oh, we've become an entanglement. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure in real life both airplanes would have now um just um broken up into pieces at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. What I really want to try is actually being towed along by an F-14. I think that would achieve my goal. Everybody, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever you are in trouble, there's an F-14 out there that can help you get out of it. And so there you go. Oh my goodness, that's going to be quite a bit of power. Huh? Is it? What is that airplane doing? Okay, not bad. Come on, not bad of a start. I guess we are a bit too heavy for this plane. It's like a little dog on a leash. Hmm, quite disappointed. All right. I mean, I guess this A340 will solve it. Check these out. These are GE90 engines. Plenty powerful to carry itself, this A340 now, and me. Shut up. Now, something I can do as well is steer the towing airplane, right? Something I can set up. For example, I can tell the airplane to go left and right. Good. And now let's take off. Come on, A340 with GE90. I feel a bit comfortable here in this position. I guess the cable is a bit too short. But geez, look at that performance. I think that is actually really good. Take a look, that's this faster acceleration than the usual 737. Yes, this is actually the performance of GE90s. Oh, yes! <laughs> look at that, beautiful. I mean, the A330 did just as well. Good, look at that potence. And again, we can steer the airplane now. So we can have it go to the left, and we're gonna follow. We can have it go to the right, and we can follow. You just really don't wanna let go of the controls. Even though you have an A340 with GE90s, you can easily get that out of control as well. Check out how we are uh, interacting with this airplane. Oh my. Oh, but our my goal was to actually complete our mission once again. We are now headed for mainland Spain and we can see it already. <laughs> Whoopsie. Come on now. Okay, now I think now we have actually achieved quite stable flight. If you trim out your plane well, there we go. Looks perfect. We've already reached 335 knots. Yeah, due to the insane power of the G90 A340, we're able to reach mainland um, Spain very quickly. Which shows already here. All right, now, um, let, uh, all right, uh, um, <clears throat> let's assume that we made it to mainland Spainland, where we can see the huge Malaga airport here. But before we land, I would quite like to, you know, test the limit. Oh, no, 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 not that way. Oh, right, that's gonna cause a massive crash. Yeah, all right. Good, it's kind of like dancing, really. It's amazing. You know what, I, I would like to try some things before we do this Malaga emergency landing. For example, what happens if we put reverse trust on? You know, I mean, airplane towing technology could be quite ubiquitously used. For example, if airlines don't pay their lease by banks and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and put reverse thrust on. Full power in the reverse. See, look at that. We are very much slowing down. We're quite a bit of drag here. But this is not enough to stop the uh, A340 from flying. All right, now back to our mission. We can see our A340 is right now doing quite a bit of a left turn so that we can perform our emergency landing here at Malaga Airport. Yes, yeah, so we're back on under realism, right? So um, here we are once again. We are attached to our A340. We're just dancing in the sky. And let's go ahead and release the brakes. There you go. Now the uh, tow bar is gone. And it's time to save ourselves from our quite dangerous situation. All right, good. Now, once again, we need to land on this runway down there because our towing airplane has kindly brought us there. I don't know what it's doing up there. Good. And we are now landing after we hooked off from the A340. Absolutely no problem at all. And I mean, there should be a big repair shop here that should be able to um, help us repair our damage. We're a little bit fast. Good, just like that. That's been a good landing. I do wonder, I do wonder though where they, I do wonder though where the A340 is. Somewhere up there. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this innovative video. There's pretty much nothing learned today. It's quite obvious that plane towing isn't really a thing. It will never, never be. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night.
<laughs> if you put <laughs> Look at that. If you put eight eight times the ground speed, it's even more funny. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finder, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.